Hey guys, Mr. Place here with another tutorial, this time on Celtics.com. So you want to head over to Celtics.com and create an account. I have a previous video tutorial to take you through the sign-in process. So if you haven't done so, see you in a bit. Go sign up and come back. And if you have already have an account, here we go. Simply log in. And right away you'll really notice that there's not much to the page. What we want to do is hit a new project. We have some choices here. The best one that suits us is going to be film and TV. Type in your project or your film name. Don't hit send. And just one episode and uh, create project. The next step is we're going to hit screenplay. And right away we have our page. We have some tabs on the right, which we aren't going to use right away. The ones that we're going to use are these drop down menus. There's file, edit, view and help and the one that we're concerned with more is this drop down menu here at any time we can switch by clicking tab on our keyboard scene heading action character dialogue parenthetical transition shot and text and the ones that we're concerned with in film is scene heading action character parenthetical and a shot Scene headings are the general location headings uh, outside or inside and what time of day or night it is. So that's usually expressed with an EXT for exterior and INT for interior. So we'll type in at the cafe bakery, interior, and it's early evening. Shot headings, basically you insert a shot heading when there's a change of location or time. Usually screenwriters don't specify shots or camera angles. That's the job of the director or the cinematographer. But in this case, as novices to writing for film, you can include shot angles to give you a clearer picture on how the scene will be filmed. For example, a shot might start off as an establishing shot, a wide angle so that the viewers can get a reference where things and people are. You can include subsequent shot angles such as over the shoulder shot during a conversation or an extreme close-up to show tension or expressions such as fear or surprise. Character. Your job as a writer defines who the character is. It's a description of their personal traits, such as their age, appearance, or any specific traits that the viewer should be aware of. Remember, be descriptive so that the viewer or reader can paint a vivid picture in their head of who this person is. Action. It's the part of the script the writer uses to describe character actions or settings. For example, Parminder walks in the cafe bakery and sits down near the door. He immediately pulls out his phone to check any activity. Dialogue. Dialogue is any spoken word from the character and will most of the time be the backbone of your script. All right, let's look at another character. And finally, the parenthetical. The parenthetical are always in parenthesis and are adjectives used to describe how an actor delivers their line. For example, the dialogue from Parminder says, Hi Mary, I've been around. But the important part is the parenthetical in brackets, which gives Parminder direction. He continues to look at his phone while talking to Mary, consumed by what he is reading. Mary says, Well, you miss basketball practice again. I know you have a sore foot, but that... The parenthetical here, in brackets, gives Mary direction. Mary gets angry from Parminder's lack of energy in the conversation and slaps her bag on the table. So as you guys might already have guessed, these headings that I put in my script were unnecessary, but I put them in for you beginners. If you want to put them in your script until you become a little bit more used to the format, go for it. So we're almost done. We can do a little bit of light formatting here with a rich text if that's what we want. And oh yeah, don't forget the title page. Remember guys, you can share your scripts with others. Print or download your script in PDF format. Thanks guys, and happy script writing, unless your genre is horror of course. Be seeing you.